Hi everyone, I'm Chef Leroy and welcome to My Cozy Kitchen. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. The weather here is beautiful, nice and hot. Um, and I want to do an indoor project for you. I want to show you some vacuum sealing again with my Avid Armor Chamber Vacuum Sealer. Again, I have the model USVX model. I want to show you how to take a standard bag that's already pre-sealed around the sides and end and open at one end. These are quart size bags. And again, these are Avid Armor product. Uh, they come like this, but you can cut them down for smaller vacuum sealing. I wanna show you how to do that with your chamber vacuum sealer. It's very simple. I wanted to do this demonstration for quite a while and well, I'm here at it today. I'm going to vacuum seal some smoked salmon that I did over the weekend, it, but now I want to get it in the freezer and preserve it, right? So we're going to vacuum seal it. All right, well, let me show you how to do it. So we're going to cut this bag straight in half. Now this is the end that's already sealed and this is the open end. So make sure you keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to cut across. Just like that. Okay, so again, this is your bottom, it's already sealed, this is the open end. We need to slide the salmon inside the bag, just like so, and there you go. All right, now let me show you how to seal it, but I want to show you how to seal an open-ended bag first. So this one is open on both ends, so now we need to get one end sealed, all right? So let's get that in our vacuum sealer and I will show you how to do that. All right, the first thing we need to do is make sure our sealer is plugged in, which it is. And we're going to go ahead and turn on the power button in the back. Okay, and you wait till the little lights blink and beep and then that's it. All right, so open up your chamber. Now, this is the seal bar right here. All right, this is a little clip that holds the bag down. So what we want to do, we want to take our open-ended bag like this. It's open on one side and open on the other one. All right, what I want to do is slide it under the clip and let the clip hold that bag down. And again, what you want to do is make sure that the bag is somewhat even across. Now, you got to understand that you're cutting it with scissors, so you're only as good as you are with the scissor. But anyway, I try to make sure that this is fairly well even, okay? Now, what we want to do is go ahead and shut the chamber just like so. And then I'll show you what button to push to go ahead and seal that. Okay, now you see the front of the machine. So I've got vacuum level two. That doesn't need to be moved for this, pro this process. Seal time is on one. I'm using seal time one because these bags are a thinner bag. It doesn't need to be on two or three. Those are for heavier bags. This is just a status light that's here. And then we have auto vac and seal, and we have seal, and we have marinade. Now, marinade, I haven't really messed around with that that feature much yet. I do want to try that on another segment of this. But what you want to do now is just hit the seal button. And that is it. We'll open up our machine. And I'll show you. There you go. That's sealed all the way across the bottom. And you see how it seals. It's got two different lines there, so it's like a double seal, which is pretty awesome. All right, this bag is ready for vacuum sealing. So that's how you do it. It's just that simple. So you have your two double-sided plastic opening and one you seal to close it. And then you put your product in and then we vacuum seal. So I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, we have our salmon in the bag, just like so. I'm gonna slide this, well actually this has a textured side on this side here, so I'm going to flip it over and use that textured side. Because what happens with the textured side, when it comes to this one, this clip holds better because of those textured, the textured side of the bag. If you see how that just slid out of there, that's how, that's how slippery they are. Just slide it up in there. Now, if you have a problem, where it keeps sliding back, you can put a towel behind this and it doesn't affect the uh, sealer in any way. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and close that down. That'll hold the bag in place as well. And let me show you what buttons we push to go ahead and seal that salmon in. Okay, again, we have our vacuum level at two. I'm not gonna go higher and I'm not going to go lower for the salmon. Seal time one, this is your status lights. So you'll see how they come on. This time we wanna hit auto, vac, and seal, not just seal. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And that is it. All right, let's go ahead and open it and show you what it looks like. All right, go ahead and open up your chamber. Pull the clip up and it slides right out. Lou, check it out. There you go. That corner was a little tight at the top here, but it's still sealed up really nicely. There's no air in it. And that's perfect. All right, let's do the other ones. And salmon number two. And there you go. Beautiful. Sealed nicely. And number three. And there you have it. Perfectly sealed. Three bags of smoked salmon ready for the freezer. All right, let's do a little recap on what we just did. All right, so a little recap on the Chamber Vacuum Sealer by Avid Armor. Again, this is a USBX model. Today I showed you how to vacuum seal smoked salmon and also to cut a bag down in half, basically, to do salmon. So that bag costs seven and a half cents instead of 15 cents, right? So we cut our cost by cutting them in half to utilize them for a smaller portion. Now this is what happens if you don't do that. So this was some fried rice that I made and I vacuum sealed the whole bag instead of cutting it down. Now you see how much waste that was? So that's why I wanted to show you this and how to cut these bags down. Now there's another thing you could do. You could technically cut this bag and make it into more of a pouch um, lengthwise. I think you could, I haven't done it yet, but I know that you could cut this down through the middle and seal this one edge so you got both these two sides sealed and put your product down inside. Just another way to vacuum seal, I guess. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, thank you guys for subscribing, the ones that have. I really appreciate it, it helps the channel. Uh, again, just so you know, it is free to subscribe. It just gives you a, a more of an alert, early alert that I've got video coming out or it's already out. Um, also, uh, please leave me uh, comments at the end of this if you want to add anything to what I've done. Um, but I really do appreciate you guys watching my channel. Um, again, please give me some thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. And otherwise, you guys have a great day. Chef Leroy and out. Oh, and one additional thing before you throw your product in the freezer. Make sure you label it, date it. Okay? Freshness is very important, so make sure you rotate. All right, that's it. I'm out.